might not be the case for everyone, but I believe in this modern, hustling working environment, we need a moment to pause. This pause is not a stop button. We just need a rest to relax our mind and be the best version of ourselves again. Some people are busy with nine to five work, building an entrepreneurship empire, housework, studying, practicing a skill, or even creating something creative. Whether it is to feed the family, to save more money for the future ahead, or maybe just to get started to enter society. We need to push ourselves to work harder and study harder our entire lives. I know some people who really love to grind and get busy. But at the end of the day, he feel empty and found himself asking, "What am I doing? Or does this worth the effort? Or am I wasting my time? Or even am I rotting away through my youth? Or maybe did I make a wrong move? Did I make a wrong choice? Do we put our priority right? What are the priorities? At this moment, we really need to press the brake and slow down a little." It's not always a highway road. Life also needs a resting area. This might not be the case for everyone, but I believe in this modern hustling working environment, we need a moment to pause. Most of the people on Earth should have at least one oasis. This oasis could recharge our mind and soul. This oasis could be people or a person. This oasis could be food or drinks. This oasis could be a place or a certain activity or religion, even, which make our heart fuller with positivity. If you ask me, where is the most calming place on Earth? It's here, on this seat, next to this window, with this view, at this timing, with this background music or sound effects. And all the atmosphere, with this tea, and with my notebook. People say, start your day right. And the rest of the day will follow up with the same mood and result. In the morning, after cleaning things up, I will enter the work mode. As a freelancer, I might either do work from home, remotely, or do work in different city or even different country. Well, we still need to feed ourselves, so we need to work. But at the end of the day, I usually feel tired. Physical tiredness is not always the case, but mentally exhausted is always the case. Remember to replenish our mood, our heart, our positivity. I have a habit to please everybody, but of course, let's be honest, we cannot always please all the people in the room. It is quite hard to realize if I am in the objective mode or the mode to please everybody. But through a sour experience, from trying to please everybody in the room, I learned the hard way. I become more cautious and I keep asking myself if I have done it again. It's a time for self-reflection.
like to share with you all. This is my oasis. The magic might disappear if a certain call, a certain person, or a certain situation occur. So yes, this magic is very fragile and uncertain. shop will continue on the next episode with more to offer. I will continue to talk about the thinking process in the coffee shop I often visit. Sometimes an environment could make us rethink about life and the world we live in. If you like this kind of rethinking life process, feel free to click the subscribe button and the bell button to get notification once the next video is up. And let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. Stay positive and take care.